the Dodgers win Game 3 of the National League Championship Series 6-0 against the Cubs. Game 4, it's Wednesday and it has to be a must-win situation for Chicago. Mike DiGiovanna, Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Mike, the Cubs will send out John Lackey and it's going to be interesting because it kind of is a must-win. They can't go down 3-1 to the Dodgers. Yeah, that's... Uh not only would you go down 3-1 against the Dodgers, who, are, who appear to be on a nice roll right now, you're going to have to beat Clayton Kershaw at least mm -hmm. once more, and probably Rich Hill in Game 7 if it goes that far. The Cubs have not had much success against left-handed pitchers this postseason, and they have Julio Urias in, Urias in Game 4. So uh, they've got to get their offense going. Their, their pitching hasn't been too bad, but you know, as Joe Madden said after the game, they are just not getting the barrel to a lot of baseballs right now and they have to get the offense rolling score a couple early runs and get some momentum on their side Julio Urias he's 20 years old John Lackey is coming up on the ripe young age of 38 that's gonna be quite the matchup to see a rookie against a veteran John Lackey is almost twice the age of Julio it's gonna be a really interesting way to matchup. make him feel old <laughs> he doesn't pitch like he's 38 I, I tell you you know John Lackey it's a classic experience against youth matchup. John has thrown 131 postseason innings in his career. That's a good three quarters of a season. Mm -hmm. That's more pitch uh, innings than Julio has thrown in his big league career. He's got a low three ERA. This guy has won World Series clinching games for the Angels in 02, for the Red Sox in 2013. He's a, a big game guy. He likes that moment. Uh, you know, he's not the best pitcher the Cubs have on this staff, but he's probably the right guy for this situation tomorrow. The Dodgers learned very quickly in game one that the Cubs have a loaded lineup. However, that lineup has produced not a single run in the past two games. How do those Cubs get going? Well, I think, uh, you know, you have to find a way to manufacture a run early. You know, this is a big slugging team, uh, a lot of power. Uh, they draw a lot of walks. They strike out some too, but I, I think with you know, Joe Madden's a smart guy. If they get a guy on base, he might try to steal a base early, hit and run. They've got to do something to get mm -hmm. at least a one or two run lead early just to relieve some of that pressure because you don't want to be, uh, as Joe said after game three, you don't want to be down uh, with the way Kenley Jansen is throwing the mm -hmm. ball for the Dodgers right now. They're just not going to have much of a chance. And Kenley Jansen's not going to have much of an arm left <laughs> after this. They're riding him hard, you know. Uh, there was a question, is a, a valid question after this game. You know, they tacked, uh, Kenley came in, got the last out of the eighth. Dodgers tack on two more runs for a mm -hmm. six nothing lead. Do you take Kenley Jansen out? You know, maybe preserve his, uh, a mm -hmm. couple of bullets for games four and five. Dave Roberts was not even yeah. tempted. Kenley was hot. You don't want to change the momentum of this game. Every game is so huge this time of year. I don't know that I agree or disagree with the move, but I, I don't blame him. When you have a game in the bag, you want to keep it there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blame Dave Roberts for any decisions he's made so far. These guys, they're two games away from a trip to the World Series. Game four, once again, is on Wednesday. Julio Urias versus the old timer John Lackey with Mike DiGiovanna. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times.